you, you know all about Lords. You were such an important part of that all at 85 a few years ago. We all talk about Tim Pfeiffer, but um, you up the slope, knocking over Joe Root. Good memories from, from a famous day in Irish cricket history. Yeah, class day. Um, you know, I think that, that first day went down in history with a lot, with a lot of people. Um, you know, guys that have played cricket before us, sort of looking on with envy, thinking I would love to be back out there and, and potentially inspiring sort of the, the next bunch of cricketers. So, yeah, it was a big day for Irish cricket, and I think it was a big day for us. How does it feel different this time around, walking into that visitors' changing room and, and pulling up a seat, knowing that this isn't your first time, this isn't your first rodeo playing a test match on this famous ground? Yeah, it's actually a little bit refreshing. Um, you know, you still have the the excitement of, of playing at Lords. You still have the excitement of playing a test match against England. But you walk into the sheds and you see someone sitting in your seat, and you, you get to move them out of the way because that's that's your seat now. It's it's where you played. It's it's where you sat. It's where you played. And um, yeah, a little bit of pulling rank in there involved, which is good. But um, no, the lads are loving it. I think it's really nice to see the excitement of everyone going around, uh, especially the guys that have never played here, never been here. Um, so yeah, hopefully it's a good week for them as well. And with all respect to Chelmsford, it's a bit different to where you've been for most of the last month playing white ball cricket. And the tour game last week worked okay for you though, 62 in the first innings and 85 from 66 playing for Essex uh, against Ireland, which is a little bit unusual, but batting at number six, can we expect something similar uh, through the week here at Lords, batting it that high up? I would highly doubt it. Um, <laughs> maybe they're, maybe they're uh, four down and, or three down and need a night watchman. Um, but yeah, look, I, I enjoyed, enjoyed playing for Essex. I think it was something that you know, we weren't sure how it was going to play, sort of going into it. Whenever I mean, you get told, by the way, you're playing for the Oppo, um, you know, it's one of those where you're thinking, right, okay. Um, but no, I think it, it sort of raised the competitiveness, um, which was really good. But no, it's lovely to be back here at Lords. I think you do look around here. There's there's been aspects of the ground that have been added to since the last time we were here. Um, you know, I think that the far end there has been been souped up pretty heavily I think last time we were here was only a little uh, the, the two rows and yeah look it's it's an impressive place and it's it's got a lot of history here already so hoping to make another bit and for you personally having played in the county system and and been here a bit through that I'm sure when you're with Warwickshire just again it's not being daunted and overwhelmed by it there was a lot made of that last time around in 2019 Ireland get into a great position with the ball and it did slip away across days two and three but but feeling like this is a side that's beaten England twice between times yeah, absolutely. I think it's a pretty young side. There's the the modern cricketer now is sort of raised on had not having fear or not not being daunted by those big moments. Um, you know, it's it's a bit of a strange one that guys are coming here and they're they're almost not nervous. Um, they're just really excited for it, and I think that's quite refreshing to see. I remember being here um, and not being sure if I was playing or not, um, and then find out the night before I was, I was in and. You know, texting mum and dad saying, by the way, I'm in. Um, I think they were they were coming over anyway on one of their mates' 60th birthday, so they were on the in one of the boxes on the piss for um, for the day. But it made, made their day a bit bit more special. And yeah, like it's it's something that I, I really hope someone comes in. You know, whether it be their debut or whether it be their first game here, I really hope someone comes in and makes a real sort of puts their stamp on the game and, and really enjoys it. Had they not been here, they wouldn't have seen you get Joe Root twice in the Test match, Johnny Bairstow as well, who you've also uh, dismissed in, in one day cricket as well. I mean, knowing that, not to say you've got the wood over them necessarily, but knowing that you've gotten them out in, in Test cricket, in one day, in day, one day international cricket, the, the extent that that sort of uh, informs your confidence walking out there again. Yeah, like it's it's obviously great having success against him in the past, but that's I do not want the headline here to be that Mark Air has the word over Joe Root because that, that is, <laughs> we won't stitch you up. Yeah, that is the one thing that um, I most certainly do not have. Uh, look, they're they're an incredibly talented team. Um, you know, one through eleven, they're they're well balanced. I think they could potentially be missing a few guys, and, and they're still they're still star studded. So, look for us, it's about enjoying the moment. It's about getting into a fight, getting into a contest, and and how we move move the game forward from there. I know you, a lot of your teammates have made a big deal of talking publicly about wanting to play more Test cricket. It's quite nice having a run of them four in, in quick succession. But you had to wait four years between Test match one and and Test match number two, which makes this all the more important. No, absolutely. I think that like, yeah, 2019 last time we were here, and it's. It's been a real change in squad. I think you look at the guys that have come in. I think we had six debutants or seven debutants for the first game in Bangladesh. Um, and yeah, there's probably a few guys throughout that period have have missed out on Test cricket. Um, there's guys that have played over 100 caps, got played over 100 times for Ireland, and 
and still haven't played Test cricket. So you're sort of thinking, right, this is it is it is an honour and it is a, it is a real joy to be able to play Test cricket for uh, for Ireland and there's no better place to do it than here. So no Josh Little with you this week with the new ball, which is obviously a big out given the bigger picture for your side this year, World Cup qualification around the corner, the tournament in Zimbabwe in July, knowing you'll have a lot of responsibility there as well. So it's not a kind of a normal summer, but what is quite um, something you're quite used to is playing in those qualification tournaments. Cricket Island have been doing that for years now. Yeah, they're absolute bloodbath. Um, it's one of the hardest things to do, I think, because there's so much on each game. Um, you know, it's not like a bilateral series where you can go in and, you know, if you lose the first one, you're like, oh, well, we can still come back and win 2-1 or, or, or whatever it is. And um, yeah, there's some good teams and, and the teams that aren't expected to win are almost the ones that are, are the most dangerous. Um, you look at someone like UAE, who we don't have a great record against uh, in T20 cricket over the last couple of years. They, they're a good side. They've earned the right to be there. So yeah, like it's every game's going to be going to be tough and going to be uh, competitive. So it's about how we can make sure that whenever we are out there, no matter who we're up against, there's no point in us getting up against Sri Lanka and, and then losing to Oman um, because it just puts us back in square one. But again, it's an exciting sort of period in time. I think it's quite a busy period. Um, you know, it'd be good to get Josh back in for those. Um, I'm sure the big man's got it after last night. But um, no, he's had a great he's had a great few months. Um, traveling around the world and it's time for him to get the feet up I think um, yeah he's 23 years old and if you want to bowl him into the ground that's fine but he's not going to be playing a lot of, uh, a lot of cricket for you if, if you do well first things first you've got a test match to play at Lords running away from the pavilion down the slope hopefully it goes as well for you personally as it does as it did uh, back in 2019 best of luck fingers crossed thank you very much mate